Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today to watch a season two, episode two of Ted Lasso. A quick recap of the last episode. We got to see that we are kind of, I think in the middle of the season, it seemed like because we've had seven ties in a row, which isn't great, but as Rebecca said, that doesn't mean, like that means that we are undefeated. Look at the bright side, look at the bright side. Anyway, we obviously, we do not have Roy any longer. He is coaching his um, niece, Phoebe, her soccer team, and is like being very hard on them, by the way, which we love. In the one game, Danny was like going to kick for this goal and ended up ending their mascot, Earl the Greyhound, which was a whole thing. So he got therapy for that and we ended up getting him back in the long run and then all of the other teammates were going and getting this really helpful therapy and the therapist was having a bit of a weird relationship with Ted but I'm very curious to see if she's gonna stick around a little bit longer and if she's gonna therapize Ted because I think he actually, I think he needs it. Uh, Rebecca also went on a date with this one man she had been seeing for a while with uh, Roy and Killy and basically he was just fine and Roy really gave it to her, he was like, you need somebody who is going to give you butterflies and going to treat you like the best thing that's ever existed and you don't need to settle for fine, which was lovely. Uh, Keely obviously wants him to take a job where I think it's like announcing or something for the football games. You guys will tell me. You guys are so helpful. I don't even think that you understand. And I do want to take a minute to thank you for that because you do not have to be as gracious as you are with giving me all of the information about this game and like what some of the things mean and some of the phrases that are said, things like that. But I really appreciate it because I'm learning everything that I know about professional football from this show and from what you guys tell me. So if there's something I don't get, that's why. <laughs> uh, but I am loving it. And we ended up seeing Roy hanging out with all of his old lady friends <laughs> who he does yoga with and there's a show it's not actually love island but it is love island and jamie jamie tart jamie's on there so that has me very intrigued and i need to see what is happening there i don't even know i don't know <laughs> i don't know oh uh, as always the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my patreon link that's down below and without any further ado let's just jump right in to season two episode two of ted lasso let's go i know you guys do too but it's so good and for no reason <laughs> come on let's see jamie in this villa lust conquers all it Daphne. Jamie, one of you will go home tonight. It's, it's the Jamie. other will continue his lustful journey. Oh my god, Jamie. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna be Jamie. Jamie, the lust stops here. I'm sorry. Oh, wow, wow, wow. wow. As an absolute oh, shocker. This is Unlucky, so funny. Really. But we are lucky to have with us here in the studio loser Jamie. I'm the loser. Well, Jamie, look, first things first. Will you? <laughs> Jamie. Uh, no, it's just, I was just playing a game. Do you know what I mean? Find the fittest girl there, have sex with oh, her in the toilet, ask her to marry her, not strategy. Well, speak. Oh, God, Jamie, not a good look. You know, my wife and I really thought he and Amy were meant for each other. But no, he won't be coming back to Man City. We wish him luck. Oh my god, so maybe we will get him back. Are we getting Jamie back? Oh. Well, thanks for stopping by, Jamie. Good to see you as all. Oh god, he just found out. Jesus. Oh no, guys. Have you slept here last night? Why? Jane and I got in a fight last night, and she threw my keys in the river. Hey, you two are alive. <laughs> a Parisian bedroom. What's happening? Will, a word. Oh no, Nate, you need to calm down, my guy. Yes, isn't yes, it? Uh, my girlfriend loves lavender. She finds it very calming. Don't make changes that could throw off a player's headspace. Sorry, coach. Go, get out. Oh my god, Nate. 
Too much, buddy. What is Ted doing? Probably homesick. Closest thing he can find to a Dodge Ram. Good luck. <laughs> Roy. Oh no, he's going to try to talk to Roy. Keely? Uh oh, is that big bad Roy Kent there? Yeah. Sorry, he's in a big rush. Oh, that's, a, that's cool, bye. Oh. <gasps> that's not a bike, that's a transformer. What are you doing back here? Don't we have direct deposit? I thought Higgins hired up the rest of the season, didn't he? Come on, Higgins. Uh, yes, I thought it couldn't hurt, but I should have asked you first, Ted. You're absolutely right. No, I'm dead wrong. I mean, heck, you're director of football operations. You know, you gotta be able to make... <laughs> should have texted me first. That's 100% true. No, it's 1,000% false. I mean, you're a busy man. Whatever. <laughs> Next time you have plans, I want you to run by me first, okay? What is going on? What do you mean no one wants oh, man? Okay. I'm Jamie fucking Tart. You're too much of a liability. You act like an arsehole. Mm. Amazing offer for a new reality show in Ibiza. How do you feel about taking ecstasy every night for three straight weeks? Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. He's like, I want to play football. Jamie. You know you're like a son to me. Now you're like a dead son. Which means I love you even more. I'm so sorry. Well, excuse me? <laughs> you thought full coach Lasso, but I don't eat sugar. Really? Wow. I've never met someone that doesn't eat sugar. Only heard about it. And they all live in this godless place called Santa Monica. <laughs> Same way with video games. How so? Oh, you know, it's just something in my life that I really enjoy. But then I pretend to prevent myself from having them and somehow making my life better. What I'm doing is depriving myself of something that makes me happy instead of attempting to adjust my relationship to it. What's your favorite book? This is interesting. What is? <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? <sighs> It's painful. I'm a breakup. Plus, she's right next door to laughing Liam. Lovely man, but... Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you did what? Evidently, she doesn't eat sugar. What a fucking asshole. Yeah. You ever been to a therapist, Rebecca? What for? I can diagnose myself in a heartbeat. I thought being invulnerable would... <laughs> to my greatest fear. Being alone. Big whoop. Big whoop. Yeah. Come on, Rebecca. <laughs> no, I'm lying. I'm lying. I've been, I've been following you for your whole long shower. But I've just been trying to build up the courage to say hi, so... Hi. Oh, Jamie. Is that okay? You deleted my number. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? But you lost. I want you to oh, remember God. this feeling. Burn this moment into your brains. Look, when I was young, you got a shout at that for losing. Same. But then tough love never bothered me. You know, as long as I knew the coach gave a shit. It's been an honor coaching all of you. I do hope you'll come back and play next year. But only if you fucking mean it! <laughs> <laughs> Is Jamie gonna be here? Oh my god, it. Keely? Oh god. Please? Okay. Mm. Come on, girl. <laughs> What's she doing there? Ooh, nothing. <laughs> Why'd you throw your phone? I thought that you were an intruder and I didn't want you to steal it. Is it Jamie? That'll be so fucked up. Show me. No. Uh. It's okay. <laughs> Babe, come on, don't be embarrassed. Whatever it is, it's fine. I don't think it's gonna be. It's in the woods. You do? Why? Because I could never be that free. Come on, let me see. <laughs> oh, run. Oh no, I'm scared it's gonna be Jamie. Oh god. I'm announcing. Oh.
You miss it, Roy. I know you do. You're just like Jamie. I didn't think this conversation could get any worse. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, no. He wants to come back and play for Richmond. He's so lost, Roy, just like you. At least okay. he's trying to find his way back. See, pathetic. No. <laughs> Can't get hurt if you don't try. If you don't try, then I'm just going to have to sit here wanking to videos of you crying. Fine. <laughs> Sorry, it's still so funny. It sucks, and I hate it. I'm going to hire a bunch of children to follow you around and scream, told you so, told you so, for centuries. I look forward to the attention. Thank God it wasn't, Jamie. I was so nervous. Oh. Jamie. It's Jamie. Holy shit. It's... <gasps> Named him Ted. Nice to see you, Jamie. Take a seat. How you been? Uh, Shit. <laughs> pretty good. Okay. Not depressed. Yeah. It's all shit, Ted. Mm -hmm. I was a real roller coaster there. I was tall enough to join you on that ride. Oh my god. Just wondering, like, what the chances were of me coming back to play for you, Richmond? I don't know, Jamie. You burned a lot of bridges over there. I need Richmond. I did it to piss off my dad. Mm. He's just on me after every match. How I played, how many minutes I played. How... Was your old man like that? No. No, my father was a lot harder on himself than he ever was on me. I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, dang. <laughs> Like Jamie's coming back to Richmond. <laughs> it looks like they're sitting on his hand. Every time I look back, it's like she's getting closer and closer. Thank you, Will. Oh. I'm with Ted. We've been overrun by incompetent outsiders. Oh my god, calm down, Nathan. She definitely getting closer. Look, baby, when you make that pass, you gotta put some grass under it, all right? Make Danny chase it down like it's a loose toddler in a busy parking lot. Oh, so you think you can do better? Oh, yeah, come out here and do it then. Wait. Right. There ain't nothing going on out here on this field that I can do better than any of y'all. Hey, Sam, I'm just trying to help the team here. Bullshit. Uh oh. He's not normally like this. I guess Sam doesn't like Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> I mean, I am angry, oh. and I did cuss, and every time I do, I regret it. That's because people say cuss words when they don't know the right ones to use to express themselves. Right? Talk to me. I can't believe you're bringing Jamie back to the team. What? I saw the picture of you on him on Twitter. I mean, just because Jamie can't score goals doesn't mean he deserves to be here. This is interesting. No teammate has ever made me feel as bad about myself as Jamie did. Mm -hmm. Look, Sam, I understand your anger towards him. It's not him. I'm mad at you about it. Honestly, Sam, I didn't think there was anything to talk about. I told Jamie it wasn't going to happen. Oh, did everybody see me when I stomped off the pitch? No, no one saw that. Yeah, man, everyone saw that. Come on. <laughs> I want you to speak your mind. But we need to listen to each other. In safe hands with you. Well, that means a lot. I appreciate that. Very well handled, sir. Oh my god, look how handsome he looks. What are you doing? Oh. Sorry. What do you usually do with your lashes? I leave them the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> what if everyone thinks I'm shit? Mm. Since when do you care what people think? You're the boy fucking Kent. Ready for Mr. Kent? Kill him. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Legend joins us. Welcome, Roy. Hmm. I played last year. <laughs> uh, our apologies to the. <laughs> Jazzy was shit today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shocking. Yes. They're gonna love him. They were too timid. They were too respectful of United. They were lucky they didn't lose by three or four or ten. You could see it in their faces. Abject terror, like children waiting in line for the handsy father Christmas. Have some fucking pride in your shirt, or don't fucking wear it. <laughs> oh my god. 
They're gonna love him. Yeah. Yes, Roy. Roy, yo. We'd like to ask you to move in with us down here with my man Nate. We say. Oh, that would be perfect. I mean, only if it's okay with Nathan. Yeah, of course. Roomies. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I did too. But then I was talking to Sam and he unsettled me. Someone's turned me back. No, no, no. Sam just reminded me that he himself has got a great dad. Not everyone has that. Oh, come on. He's a great player. Con. He's a poop in the punch bowl. All right, diamond dogs. Although he was turning it around on the last day right before he left. Come on, babe, say something. What, are you just gonna pretend like you hated it? He didn't, he didn't hate it. Shit, you really did hate it. May I have your phone? Felt good to be back around the game. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Oh my God, is it the video of him crying? Again. So I wanted to thank you properly. Oh. Hit play. <laughs> is it him crying? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. That email will just be like, listen to a cover tune of your thoughts. I'd rather hear this tune for the first time from the original artist. Well, if you insist. Oh god. They're here. All the employees are thoughtful and kind. And they actually listen to one another. Yeah, I know it's the same thing. Where's the butt? If it ain't broke, don't fix the situation here or what? That depends. Does everyone agree that being winless with eight straight draws ain't broke? Oh, damn. Oh, God. <laughs> you can call me Doc. It's okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it hasn't been killing me. You saw it, you know? It's just such a good nickname, that's all. Prince of Tides. Oh, is that your nickname for me now? No, Coach Lesson. My favorite book. Oh, yes, we love, we love to see it. God, we got snow. The people at Dubai Air are specific. I don't think I knew that we played football in the snow, but sly. Thank you for the lovely gift basket of bottled water. Yes, well, Ted said you didn't eat sugar. There's so many other things that have sugar in them though. I really am. <laughs> Sorry, I was just, um... Oh my god, what, is Jamie back? That was the most epic entrance I think I've ever seen in my life. He did look, I'm very happy, he did look like he was not coming out like full of himself. He looked like he was coming out ready to prove himself perhaps. So hopefully, you know, it's a clean, fresh slate and we start off with, well, let me tell you, I'm sorry. We start off on the right foot. Let me finish one thought before I start another thought. So clearly, right, what, Sharon said to Ted about eight ties in a row boosting morale or like being not broke. Oh my god. And called Jamie in. But I really think that he is not going to allow Jamie to treat the players the way that he was treating them before all of this happened. But I also don't know that Jamie is going to treat them in the same way. Because like I said, the last episode that we saw him and when he was with us before he went back he was starting to play with the team and hang out with the team and and um he participated in the like ritual to reverse the curse right so i'm very curious to see if he's going to need a talking to about that or if he's just naturally going to be a better teammate overall hopefully the latter roy is you know doing that whole thing talking about the games and stuff i, I had a feeling he was gonna kill it I was a little bit nervous about it, to be honest, but 
I'm really happy and I'm happy he enjoyed it and she was right and and there's all that and it wasn't like he just pretended to hate it because he was so adamant on hating it. I'm very interested to see more of Ted and Sharon talking and if there's going to be like more talks like that between them. I think that, that would be good and I think Jamie needs to see Sharon big time. <laughs> big time oh i'm so excited to see where this goes now that we have jamie back i can't believe he's back he's back he's back i'm kind of excited i know i hate i hated on jamie i was shitting on him left right and center in the last season but he deserved it right like we all did we were all hating on jamie jamie was a little butthole but i'm ready to see jamie turn it around this season and hopefully fingers crossed we start winning and we can get that promotion that we need at the end of the season to get back up into the league we were in previously. And then we just dominate that as well. That would be incredible. All in all, I really loved this episode. I feel like we're getting back into the swing of things. Even though I didn't take a break, it's like, I don't know. Things are happening. Things are moving. And I can't wait to see another game now that we have Jamie back. And I don't know. I need Roy to talk to Ted. I need him to come back and see a little bit and maybe the first step of that was doing what he did in this episode but I need to see him back like with the group like going and watching the games or something I think. I think that that would make me feel better <laughs> overall. God, what a great episode. What a great episode and now I'm pumped. I'm pumped about it. Thank you so much for watching this episode with me. As always the full episode reaction for this episode and all the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link that's down below. And I will see you guys back here with me for the next episode. Bye, guys.